Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video is a quick guide for how to install a Mandarin keyboard on your Windows 10 computer in 2020 and also how to use it. With Mandarin installed, you unlock so many additional opportunities to learn the language. Not only can you practice your characters and pinyin, you are able to quickly look up words that you don't know, as well as chat with friends using characters. Let's get started! So the very first thing that you want to do is go down here to this Cortana box here, and you can simply type in region. The other way you can do it is by hitting the Windows key on your keyboard and typing into this box as well. The next thing is you want to click on language. Then you want to go down to add a preferred language. In this search box, you'll type in the language pack that you want to install. Since you'll be learning simplified characters because you're learning Chinese from mainland China, this is the pack that you want to go with, simplified China. So click on that, then go to next. Don't click this box unless you're advanced in Chinese and really want to practice because everything on your computer will turn to Chinese. So just leave that one blank. This one is optional. If you'd like to handwrite the characters, you're more than welcome to install that. And then simply hit install once you're done choosing your options. This will take about a minute. Once the download is complete, you'll see that the language pack has been installed. Now, you're ready to go. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you'll see this little option here. It says English or ENG for short. You'll click on that and you can see which language packs you have installed. You can also go to the preferences to change anything you want about these. To ensure that everything is installed and ready to go, all you have to do is go down here to the bottom right corner and see ENG, which stands for English. Next, you click on that and all of your keyboards will show up here. If you install another keyboard, it will also show up here. As you can see, we have Chinese Simplified China right here. So if we want to switch to that keyboard, all we have to do is click on it. To begin typing in Chinese, first you must ascertain whether or not you're in Chinese mode or English mode. As you can see here, this character, Zhong, stands for Zhongwen. And if you hover over it, it says Chinese mode right there. So that means we're ready to type in characters. If you want to switch to English mode, you just left click on that as well. And this character shows up, which is Ying for Ying Yu. Another option is to simply press the Windows key and the space bar. This will bring up this floating screen here and you can simply click on the keyboard that you wish to use. Now that you're all familiar with the different keyboards and how to switch between them, let's go ahead and start typing a couple characters. To begin, let's start with hello, ni hao. In order to type on a Chinese keyboard, you need to enter the pinyin of what you're trying to produce. In this case, we're trying to say ni hao, so we type n-i-h-a-o. You don't have to worry about the tones, and this little pop-up box here will populate the characters that are similar to this pinyin. So for example, this is ni hao, this is ni hao. Two different, two different words, two different meanings, however, they fall underneath the same pinyin umbrella. So, now that we have that covered, we want this first one. So, we have three different ways that we can do it. There's probably more, but I usually only use these three. First, you can hit enter, and it'll choose the one that's highlighted. You can click on your mouse, which one you want, or simply, you can press the number that's associated with the character. So since we want this first one, let's go ahead and press number one. And there you go. We've just typed our first word. For the more advanced learners or people who would like to really know how to do this efficiently, there's an even faster way to do this. So instead of typing out N-I-H-A-O, you can just type N-H. And this will populate whatever starts with N and whatever starts with H, and they'll give you a bunch of different options. So they have Nin Hao, they have Ni Hao. So we still want this one, and same thing, press enter. Now we've typed another character with an even shorter method of typing. And this method is really useful for when you get more advanced and you're able to type very quickly, so you don't have to type as many actual letters to produce whatever you're trying to write. 
Another useful feature for you guys to be aware of and potentially even use yourselves, instead of going all the way down here and clicking to switch between English and Chinese modes, all you have to do is hit control and spacebar. As you can see, this is switching back and forth while I click on it. While that is an option, I typically don't use it. Uh, I don't really like to switch using control space and I usually don't even type in English while I'm under the Chinese keyboard. And the reason is it likes to switch back a lot when you're typing between English and Chinese and it makes it very difficult when you're writing a whole lot of English to not have any Chinese characters pop up. So usually what I do instead is I just go and switch it to the English keyboard and then I usually just type English with that. But if you're in a hurry or something, of course you can use that keybind and it should work most of the time for you. Essentially, that is all you need to know in order to write Mandarin efficiently using a Windows 10 computer. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that this video helped you. Please subscribe to our channel, leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And we hope you guys stay tuned for future videos.